my name is Abhishek Jain. Hi, I am Hardik Agarwal. We are from IIT Delhi, and today we are going to answer some of the questions asked me anything by our juniors. The first question we have got is from Mr. Sujal. Board and J parallel कैसे करें? हम तो Sujal board और J I think जो J है in that you will already be covering most of the STEM subjects already. So maths, physics, chemistry, it will be easy only. Only you will have to study for English and physical education. Beach beach me you will get school tests, midterm and all. I think you should not worry much about them because they won't matter to the final grade anyways. During the board time, prepare nicely for the English and physical education exam and that also I think two days are enough for the STEM subjects. So the next question is from Imran. His question is, Bhaiya, my physics is very weak. Hai. Any tips which help us to strong overall physics of class 11th? So physics to improve karne ke liye, the main thing is that your concept strong. Hona so I would recommend that you read your notes multiple times. Your concept will build strong. And then as you will think more on that, the more you put your brain on it, you will develop the skills to solve the physics questions also. That's the main thing to do in physics. One child's question is, which is the best time to take the test, January or April? How to remember those many formula? I would say the attempt which you should take totally depends on your preparation. If you are confident enough on your preparation, then you should go with the January attempt itself. Like you should be confident on it. But even if you are not confident, you should still give it because the positive exam pressure allows you to study more before the exam. And in the April, focus more and obviously you can do it because two years or one year is also more than enough for studying it. But if you have two years, you are on an advantageous side than other people. So yeah. So, the next question is Rudra. What is the best time to solve success achiever and success magnet? So, success achiever, success magnet, definitely very important books to solve. And the best time to solve is after the syllabus is over. So, the next question is from Coco. This question is very common that how can we maintain our silly mistakes in test series? Silly mistakes are such things that an intelligent child, how much more intelligent he is, he is also doing it. This is very common to all and if you think that you are doing it, so it's not an issue. This can be improved also. Silly mistakes can improve the best way is that we do multiple questions every time. Now, the more you give the test, the more you can see the improvement in silly mistakes. Because silly mistakes, the issue is that we want to solve the questions in less time. So, the issue is speed and speed develops with attempting more tests. So, the next question is from Vaseem. I have full 11th as a backlog, now I am uh, now I am so stressed and I need some guidance to clear it. Vaseem, I think your 11th mein backlog is so it's better that you do 12th right now as it is going with the syllabus or you will be weak in 12th and 11th and after your 12th syllabus is done then again come back to the 11th so that you can cover at least the important topics that time. Talking to the teacher is very important for you. So the next question is by Abhinay. What is the best way to revise 11 topics while also being graded 12? This is a nice question because some people think that if they will only focus on 12th syllabus in 12th class, they will forget the 11th. My strategy was that I only focus on 12th syllabus in 12th class and after that I got approximately 3 months before my J mains and in that time I revised all the 11th thing. If you are weak at 11th, then also I'll suggest you that in 12th class just go with the present. Going with the present is very important so that what you are studying currently doesn't go in the backlog. So in 12th, just do the 12th. After that, revise the 11th. It will be all fine. So the next question is from Vivek. How to crack J phase 2? So J phase 1 to hoga. Abhi J phase 2, the most best thing you can do is analyze the phase 1 papers and then prepare accordingly to that. And for preparing of uh, for the preparation of JE means phase two, I would say don't start studying something new after the phase one. Just focus on what you have already studied, revise it again and again so that you don't forget it. And you'll be able to make your paper better by this strategy rather than studying new concepts and then revising those. That can be very risky. 
The next question is from RF. How to study physics and chemistry? What are the tips and tracks to follow? So that was a doubt for me also because maths was my favorite subject and in physics and chemistry I faced little issue. For physics I figured out quite early only that if I read notes again and again then I'll be able to build the concept and solve more questions. But in chemistry as the topic changes from physical chemistry to organic to inorganic you have to rebuild your strategies. So the physical is easy if you like maths. This is not the case with organic because it is very ambiguous and there is no hard and fast rule in organic. So the only thing to practice is do more and more and more questions and ask from your teacher or read more resources. Only then you can do organic. And for inorganic I would say this is my personal opinion that when if you want to study inorganic study only a month or two months before the exam because if you study a year before the exam you'll all forget it and the time you spent in studying that that will be wasted so this was my strategy to revise inorganic thank you